All right, well the day has come. We are finally replacing the old 115 Johnson. <laughs> been a good motor but 30 years old and a lot of stuff coming up and uh, not just with the hunting season fishing season but also taking my family and stuff out on the lake I need something a little bit more reliable than the old 115 Johnson so we're going from the two smoker to a four stroke and uh, we will be getting a brand new Mercury 115 2024 and it's driving out to Dubert's here shortly in Port Clinton I'm gonna run it out there. I'll show you guys when we get there, but they're gonna be swapping this one out for the new four stroke. I'm really excited about it, be able to have the reliability. Um, I haven't really had an issue with the gas mileage, but I've heard that it's way better than the two stroke. And just being able to start, you know, in colder weather, uh, not have to worry about really having any issues with the starting. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to have, have something a little nicer than the 30 year old two stroke motor. So we're gonna get her loaded up, head out to Port Clinton, drop it off, and we'll see how long it takes for it to get it back. But we'll catch you guys at Dubert's. Okay, so I know I'm gonna get some questions about why I'm putting a brand new motor on a 30 year old boat. And the short answer is that I just really like this boat. The layout of the whole boat is perfect for what I do. I like the side console, it gives me a lot more room to store gear. It also makes fishing in the boat a lot more comfortable. Um, I use the boat all year long, hunting, fishing, and then I also take my family out on it. And so far I've just really enjoyed the layout and the size of the boat. It trailers really well, it drafts nicely, and I just want a more reliable motor. So instead of me spending 40 or $50,000 on something that's gonna be similar to what I have, maybe a little bit bigger, um, that does the exact same thing, I'd rather just spend the money that I'm paying for this brand new motor and know that I'm getting a more reliable motor, a better motor for this boat, but I know how the boat handles and I know how everything works with it and that's what I like about it. I know that there's some that it's going to be a question or what people are wondering is why I wouldn't just go with like a, a hunting specific boat or a fishing specific boat that I could use for both but that's essentially what this is and the hull is in good shape, the trailer's in good shape, I just need a better motor. So on to Dubert's. And that's it. So it's at Dubert's. I'll go pick it up next week. The next clip that you guys see will be the new motor and hopefully we're taking it out on the water to give it a test drive. So looking forward to it and we'll catch you guys back at Dubert's. All right, well we are headed to Dubert's to pick up the boat. The Mercury 115 swap is done. The repower has been done and uh, we're gonna go see what she looks like. I'm pretty excited. It's probably been a few seconds for you guys, but it's been about a week for me with the holiday. Uh, they had to push it back to the end of this week. So we're gonna go look at it, pick it up, get it back to the house, and then we'll be taking it out to test it. And I am really, really excited. So we're heading to Dubert's. We'll see it in a few minutes.
All right, so we got it home. We're gonna take a look at it real quick before we get it out on the water and show you guys the upgrade that has happened here. So this is the Mercury 115 2024 four stroke. It fit right on the boat real nice. There's a couple spots up here that I need to touch up the paint just because the footprint of the plate isn't the exact same. But I mean everything installed real nice. And Dubert's did a fantastic job with the wire and the cords, cables, line, all that stuff. Everything looks super clean back here. Got a new fuel line as well. New bracket back here for the motor. And everything just looks so nice. I'm super pumped. This thing sits about a foot higher than my Johnson did. But this just looks so clean on here. I cannot believe it. And then coming in here, we've, this still has a little plastic on it that I'll take off. This is the new control for it. So the key sits back here, got the lanyard. Uh, very similar to my old one, it sticks out a little further. My old one was like a concealed one. And, uh, and then the key sat up here. That all is back here. Nice grommet to keep everything looking nice and clean. Super pumped with how this looks. This motor also came with Vessel View Mobile for Mercury, so you can pull up the app and you can see all of your run data. You can see all of your current running data, so you can see how many RPMs you're running. And uh, that also gives you a QR code so that you can pull up all of the maintenance information on this motor as well. So there's break-in information on the oil, when you need to change it, how to run it. So tomorrow when we take it out, that's what I'm gonna be doing with this motor, running it for about a half hour, hour and just going through all the different run-in information that I need to for this motor. Now, tomorrow when we take it out, I'm gonna be taking it to the river, and it's just gonna be a safe place for me to be able to run this. So, looking forward to getting this thing out. It looks so good back here. But we will catch you guys tomorrow on the boat. This thing is so quiet. Barely tell it's running. All right, we're back at the house. Got the old motor back here safely in the barn. And I uh, just wanted to follow up with you guys after taking it out. It needs a little bit of dialing in. I think that the prop that's on it is the wrong pitch. So we're gonna get that back to the shop and they're gonna swap that out, make sure that it's right. The vessel view itself needs a little bit of tweaking. It doesn't connect with my phone while it's running. But other than that, I mean, the boat performed so much better with a four stroke. Having that extra torque, it about did a wheelie out of the hole. And uh, even when it was up at the top speed, I gained three or four miles an hour on the top end. So it's still performing a lot better than the old motor did. There's just tweaks that I need to make to it so that I can understand the trim better since it doesn't work with my trim gauge that came with the boat. 
and just making sure that I understand the motor better since it's vastly different than the two stroke that I had. It has so much more power, even like in the middle band, when you start pushing it into full throttle, it just takes off. And I mean, it was just, <laughs> it was kind of insane to be honest. I wasn't expecting that out of this motor, but I should have expected it. It's got a lot more power than my old two stroke same horsepower but the motor itself just performs better so once we get that dialed in i'll make another follow-up video but i just wanted to show everybody the new motor show it out on the water and uh i'm really excited to have this thing especially for this duck season just the the anxiety level of having a two-stroke motor in december has completely gone away and it's just nice having a motor like this that just fires up right away and you don't have to worry about anything. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out season three of the Too Many Hobbies podcast and we'll catch you guys in the next video.